In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can make your very own anti-admin abuse system for basic admin essentials. Now before we get started and learn how to make this script, I'm just going to show you how it works. So let's say I'm a staff for your group for example, and then let's say in chat I run an abusive command, so for example ban all. Now let's say I run this command, and then as you can see we get this little pop up. Are you sure you want to execute the following? Now if I click on confirm, it actually kicks us from the game. This command is restricted. And I found this is super useful for a ton of groups and it works for all the commands including kick, pban, ban and all of the rest. So now let's head into a Roblox Studio game where I'll show you how to make this for yourself. And right now I have this very usual and average setup of basic admin essentials. I have my plugins folder and I have my main module folder. Some of you may not actually have a main module folder, so you might have it just like this, but if you don't, we're just going to be installing the main module. To install the main module, I want you to head to the forms.thecookie.dev, I'll leave the link down below and head to this post, and then all you need to do is click on this file and it will download it to your computer. Then what I want you to do is grab the files from your downloads and then drag it into your Roblox game. Okay, here it is. Now we have the entirety of the Roblox Bay main module inside of our game. So now what I want you to do is grab this and then drag it into basic admin essentials. Now we're almost there, let's click on basic admin essentials. To get that little are you sure prompt, we need to change one of the basic admin essentials settings. So let's have a look, um, command confirmation, and then validate certain commands like ban all or pban all. I want you to turn this to true, for some of you it might be false, just edit this variable and set it to true. Now we need to make sure that basic admin essentials loads for this main module. So scroll down to the very bottom of your basic admin essentials configuration and as you can see it says require script wait for child main module plugins configuration. If yours doesn't look like this I just want you to write out the line. So it's going to be require and then brackets script wait for child main module plugins configuration. If you see any other line that says require delete it and replace it with this and it should be the last line inside of your configuration. Okay. Now we're ready to start adding our custom code. So first what I want you to do is open up your main module module script. As you can see there's going to be a folder inside of there called components. Open this up and then you need to click on get players. So click on get players and it's going to take you to a file that looks a bit like this. Now to edit our script to work in the best way we're going to have to add an if statement that will return true. So it's going to be a little complicated but find this function filter and then after the for loop drop a line and that will be before return false and then type if hashtag argument but that's going to be arg with a capital A is bigger or equal to 5 then and then we're going to drop a line and then we're going to say return and then true. Now this part of the main module is going to tell our main module script whether the user has ran an abusive command or not. Now we need to edit the main module because that's going to be receiving the data from this get players module script. So let's open up the main module module script. Then what I will need to do is press Ctrl F for your keyboard. Ctrl F stands for find and then what I will need to do is enter return and then players with a capital P all in one word. It should take you to a function that says local function return players. It's going to look exactly like this and as you can see it should have this if statement. If reply equal true then. As you can see that main module may have some data inside of it, for some it might not, but if it doesn't have this or if it just says if reply then and some data, I want you to just remove everything that's here and then I want you to edit this line to say if reply equal equal and then true then I just want you to kick the player and then we can use this by saying player with a capital P colon kick and then inside of here you can add a custom message so I'm going to say this command combination is restricted and now that's it so like any good coder let's head into our game and test to ensure this works properly
Okay, here we are. Mm, okay. And then, let's run kick all. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to run this? And then we're going to click confirm. And there we go, we were kicked. So I hope this tutorial helps you today. I'm going to include an entire model download for this entire project, including the bake configuration file and the main module in case you have any issues. And I hope that you learned something from this tutorial. If you have any questions or scripting problems, just head over to forms.thecookie.dev. Thank you for tuning in. That's all from me and bye bye.